Are you struggling to get your toddler to eat? Then this video is for you. Coming up, I'm going to be sharing six tips that are going to help your toddler to eat much better. You want to stay tuned. <laughs> That I'm going to share with you is having a feeding routine. Yes, it's very important to have a feeding routine. Um, I, before I had a, a routine, I struggled with my children. You'd find that um, maybe lunchtime is at 2 today and then tomorrow it's at 1. The next day it's at 12.30. You know, it kind of keeps your children wondering. They're not sure about when food time is. So in between there, you keep giving some snacks you give milk one hour to food time you give some you know fruits by the time food time reaches they are full and that's you know they are right not to, to eat they are right not to accept the food so this is what you want to do ensure that you have a feeding routine what time is breakfast it should be the same time every day yeah and then snack time should be at the same time it's nice to have maybe three hours in between so eight is breakfast snack time about 10 30 and then lunch at one snack time again at four okay something like that that helps you structure your meal time and then in between if someone feels that they are thirsty don't give juice if it's not snack time don't give juice don't give yogurt because that in itself is food okay in between give water give water, let them hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. By the time uh, food time reaches, ah, they are hungry properly, okay? And they're going to eat all their food. Trust me on that, it will work. And while we're talking about having food at the same time, ensure that you have also food in the same place. I've seen many parents chasing children, uh, please, please uh, eat. You know, you give the spoon, the child first runs away. You know, you chase again, come back, come back, no. Food time should be at the same place. Is it the dining? Is it the counter? Wherever food time is, let them learn that food time is in this place. And that even helps you manage the home better. You don't have food on chairs, food everywhere, okay? That is going to save you and help your child eat much better. So ensure that you have a feeding routine. The second tip that could help your toddler eat better is setting a time frame for when food is eaten. Okay, so if you're serving food at one, ensure that you say, okay, food time is either 20 minutes or 30 minutes. After that, food time is over. I take the plates away. That helps you um, kind of tell your child that food time is in, within a certain time frame. Don't eat food one hour, two hours, three hours, the child is still there trying to eat food. Do not accept that. Ensure that you have a specific time for food. Is it 20 minutes? Is it 30 minutes maximum? Okay, so you keep telling the child, King, 10 minutes to go, finish your food. And you wait, don't shout, don't, don't shout, eat, eat. Mm -mm. Then you wait, you know, as either you're feeding them or they're feeding themselves depending on their age. Once 30 minutes are done, you take it away. That teaches the child that if you don't eat in this time frame, we take the food away, okay? So you'll see that the children will be will eat faster, you know, because they know that eh, mom is going to take away the food. And remember, you don't give anything else until the next meal, which is either snack time or lunch or supper. Trust me, if you do this right, <laughs> your toddler is going to be eating faster than you've ever seen. That is my tip for you. Light bulb moments, Lisa. Did you know that the smell of freshly cut grass is a sign that the plant is crying for help? So vegans, you may as well just eat meat because even the plants are crying. <laughs> the third tip I have for you is do not force the child to eat. You guys, <laughs> if the child is hungry, they will eat. And I'm not talking about if they have any illnesses or any complications. No, I'm talking about a normal toddler who's just fussy fussy and, you know, is not obeying. No, ensure that you don't force them to eat. You remember you've set the time for food. You've set the time limit. They're sitting in the right place. Let them eat. If they don't eat, leave them. Don't shout. Don't be a shouting parent. Eat, eat. Mm -mm. The children won't die. 
30 minutes have passed, you take the food away, do not force them to eat. They will even wonder, mm, is mommy okay? How come today she's not shouting? You know, because we get our kids accustomed to us shouting and yelling at them and forcing them to do things, and then they get the upper hand because they feel, hmm, sh we shall shout it. Let me eat one spoon. Mm -mm. Don't force anyone to eat, trust me. <laughs> Hunger will give them. They will eat. So the challenge is parents feel like, oh my God, he's not, he has not eaten. He's going to sleep without eating. He will, oh my, he will not die. He will be well, okay? So leave him, leave her, and you'll see that the next meal will be eaten faster than ever before. <laughs> the next tip I have for you is removing any form of distractions as the children are eating. Phones, away. TV, off. Gadgets out, okay? Ensure that feeding time is food time, okay? Don't let the kids be watching and then you're like, eh, hey, eat where you can, where possible, because it distracts them. And I've, I've read about it and they say it actually lowers their metabolism, something like that. So if they are watching, they are not eating right, and then food is also staying there, it's not being digested properly. So ensure that distractions are out, they are focused on only their plate, and they're eating it and then for you as a parrot as well you know don't be on your phone at food time use this time to communicate talk to your children engage them teach them about different food okay we're eating peas we're eating rice this is a carbohydrate it's an opportunity to learn but if everyone is on phone kids on tv on tabs it's very destructive so where you can ensure that kids have no distractions going on as they eat they will eat faster and they'll eat better that is my tip for you today. If you find that your children are not eating, your toddler is not eating, you know, be creative with the food. It can be creative cutlery, like the plate has different food dimensions. Uh, you can cut the vegetables in some form of maybe uh, bear or heart or shape, you know. Kids will be intrigued and be like, mm, okay. This is a nose and they eat it. You know, the eyes, the mouth. If you put like the banana slices, like, like a smile, it will help kids eat better. So try and be creative and also be creative with the food. If today you've, eat, you've given them rice, tomorrow change it up and maybe give them right, egg, egg rice, you know? You're changing it up so the taste is a bit different. Don't give rice, rice, everyday rice, you know? And it's also not nutritious to eat the same food every day so be creative play around with the plating get them their special plate and say wow this is your plate only for king only for rain they will feel you know some sort of way and they'll you'll see that they'll, they'll end up eating even much better so get creative mothers out there get creative buy them simple nice for beautiful folks out there they will eat much better trust me on this <laughs> my final tip for you yes this is the sixth tip you want to ensure that kids eat what is served. Ah, I struggled for a long time. King, at breakfast time, he only thinks of our breakfast is eggs. Egg and tea. Egg and tea. Egg and tea. It's even not nutritious to eat the same thing over and over. So egg and tea became egg and tea until I told him, no, you will eat what is served. Okay? If it's Weetabix that I'm giving you, you take the Weetabix. If I've given you egg, you take the egg. That allows a, allows you to be in control. Otherwise, you find you get picky eaters. They'll even go visiting and be like, ew, that's not egg, you know? <laughs> you even be embarrassed. So teach children to eat what has been served, you know? Yeah, they can get a say here and there and say, mm, I would love egg. You're like, oh, okay. Today is not time for egg. Egg time is on Friday. So you wait Friday and you'll eat egg, okay? So ensure that kids eat what has been served. Let them not get the habit of saying, no, no. I want chapati. And without chapati, I won't eat. So may I tell King, oh, you want egg, but I've told you I'm not going to eat egg today. No, I want egg. If he's insisting, I tell him, I have Weetabix for you. If you don't want Weetabix, you will not have breakfast. And that's it. If you don't want what I've served, you will not eat. Then you begin seeing him trying to wait. Of course he will eat because he's hungry. So try and find some, you know, strict rules around eating time and you'll see that your children your toddlers are going to eat much better those have been my six tips for you today i don't know if you found any that is very interesting let me know in the comment section and try it out and give me some feedback 
My name is Lisa Kusima. Feel free to subscribe to the channel below. And I'm here to inspire. Oh, <laughs>